well. But another MMA has come to an end this season. That would be Tokyo Ghoul. Episode 12. Quite honestly, when it started, I kept hearing it was going to be 24 episodes, but apparently not. It's 12 now. And I keep saying I'm not a manga reader. I know pretty much like every manga reader despises Tokyo Ghoul. I really don't give a shit. This is my review, okay? This ending was amazing. That fucking torture scene was brutal, okay? I've heard that they did cut out a lot of the torture scene in the previous episode. Well, we got to see quite a bit of it here, not to mention some interactions between Kaneki and Rize, and we got to learn more about Kaneki's past. Apparently his mother, he thought, was a really nice person. You know, she constantly worked like two jobs, not to mention around the house, all the time. So basically, she barely got any fucking sleep, and she, and the reason is because she was obviously had to take care of Kaneki and herself, but also she was constantly supporting her sister, who was constantly begging his mom for money. Okay, and basically she was a mooch, and her mother, his mother, was too nice to just say no. Okay, and you know, being a person who, who I, who I've seen. Uma, my mother, has actually been in that position before. I have been in that position before. Sometimes you have to learn how to say no. Okay? Even if it means abandoning someone, you know? Because what's more important, taking care of your sister or taking care of your son? You know what I mean? And she ended up overworking herself and dying because of it. Which I've heard that you could over... that you could die from overwork. I'm not sure if that's true or not, though. But, I mean, I've heard that. I'm... No one's really proven it to me before, though. But, yeah. She apparently died from overwork. Okay, and Rize basically explains to her that's not kindness... Or explains to him that's not kindness, that's just weakness. And it basically made Kaneki weak, which is why he's just, just sitting here and taking all of this fucking abuse. Okay. And he finally snaps in this episode. And the scene where he snaps is so fucking beautiful. Ah... Uh, I love characters like this, I really do, like, Kaneki was a good character before, but not amazing, you know, he wasn't the most riveting character of this anime community, but now he's definitely up there, okay, he really is. And then that fight scene at the end with both Kaneki and uh, Jason using their, uh, I forget what they're called. They're basically their powers. I forget what they're actually called. That fight scene at the end, I think, was the best part of the episode, actually, because the animation was so fucking amazing, and just the intensity of it. It was either that or the torture scene that's my favorite, because the torture scene was basically the entire episode, pretty much. And there was also that scene where Jason brought in those two red cloak people, the guy and the girl. I forget, don't know what their names are, and... I don't even know if... I know they were in the pre, a few previous episodes, but I don't know how... remember even when they were introduced or if they were very important before. I really don't. <laughs> um, I think they were just kind of there. And Kaneki was the kind of weak character where even if it's a per perfect stranger, he couldn't bear to see him die, so he's begging Jason to kill him, but Jason wouldn't have that. He ended up killing both of them. Okay. Mm. God, such an amazing episode, seriously. No, I know it seems like I'm fanboying over this, but really. <sighs> this episode just... Okay, that cliffhanger, first off... First off, I do plan on reading the manga eventually. I stress the word eventually because every time I say that, it's like two years later and I haven't checked out the fucking manga of a particular series. So I will see about getting around to it if... I decide to not get lazy. Yeah, that's that's really the best you can expect from me. But I'll, I really really want to read it though, okay? Because that cliffhanger fucking kills me, man. It really does. Um, but I know the story continues in the manga. So and I I'm not one of those people where I just don't read manga. You know, I read manga a lot, so I will read the manga eventually. You know, it's not like this is like an anime original or that's where the manga, or maybe it was an anime original, but that's where the manga ended too. I would just be, well, if it was the latter, that would just be a real dick move on the mangaka's part. But it's not like this is an anime original, you know. 
and now we just have to wait for season two. No. Now, will the skin of season two? I have no idea. But anyways, though, I think this is an amazing ending. Aside from the cliffhanger, which again, is not horrible for me because I will read the manga eventually. Aside from the cliffhanger, I thought this was an amazing ending. We got the torture scene, was, which, was, which was amazing. The death of those that one guy and girl who... Connect, basically, Jason was wanting to make Kaneki choose which one he kills. And so, when he refused to choose and instead wants Jason to kill him, he's, Jason lifts up that one girl and starts to crush her and, with his bare hand. And the, the guy ends up screaming at Kaneki, telling him to choose him, Kaneki couldn't choose and then he kills her and then he kills him. Right when the guy is showing this like really demented looking face, apparently like really pissed he's looking at Kaneki like he's really like hates Kaneki's guts wants him, wants him to burn in hell and shit. <sighs> so yeah. Jason's a cruel bastard, but I fucking love him. And I know I'm going to hell for that. Anyways <sighs> And then Kaneki's hair turns completely white. Okay. After his talk with Rize, Rize finally convincing him that, yeah, you know what? He, he's way too nice. He's way too weak. Okay. And he needs to get stronger and he needs to get crueler. After that, his hair turns completely fucking white. Just like that. I mean, I know your hair can turn white from stress. I'm pretty sure it doesn't turn white just like that, though. <laughs> but still. It turns white just like that, and then Kaneki beats the fucking shit out of Jason. In the most epic grand fight scene in this entire fucking series. <sighs> yeah. Uh, also, I have to comment on Jason's, like, when Jason transforms, it looks really fucking badass and awesome. It really does. Like... The, the way, the, just how demonic he looks. Oh, well, he kind of looked demonic anyways. But he looks even more demonic when he finally decides to transform. And it's amazing. So anyways, enough of my rambling and fan moing. This episode was, I thought was great. Um, again, I... Even if I had read the manga, I never compare an, anime and manga to themselves. Like, to, to each other. Ever. Period. Never have and never will. But still, I thought this was a great episode. Great conclusion, except for that cliffhanger. And I can't wait to read the manga. Okay. So anyways. And uh, whenever I'm able to get to it, I will get to a full series anime review of Tokyo Ghoul. Okay. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Leave that for you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.